Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to episode number 21 of our Bradford City Youth Academy All-Star Series. And to begin this episode, we are just getting right into the gameplay. First game is against Sheffield United at uh, Sheffield United away from home and getting into it. 18 minutes in, a good through ball by Al Swid to Baker. Baker puts it right under the goalkeeper and what was the goalkeeper doing there just letting it go right under him. Show If we show the replay again uh, right here, look at this. The goalie just like jumps over the ball. Awful mistake by their keeper right there. But now half an hour into the game, Archie on the ball, cuts back inside, goes for a finesse type shot, but pretty weak shot at that and nothing comes to it. And next up, Rubinho has the ball, cuts back inside, Tries the shot, but it's right at the keeper, not even close to going in. And now Baker on the ball again, steals it from their man, plays it into Regani, a good ball into Regani. Regani shoots, but can't find the target and puts it right at the keeper's hands. And now Regani with the ball again, beats his man with pace. Not, not much you say like that to Regani, but shoots it right at the keeper. And now 15 minutes left in the game, Regani on the ball again. Plays it into uh, Archie, pl who plays it into Dugdale Wander, who gets a, his occasional game. But he picks it out, puts it in the back of the net. And what a goal by Wander, who does not get that many games. And we do win that game 2-0. Even though we had way less possession, you guys know not about that possession because I can't keep the ball with my life. I'm not counterattacking. And now into the second game of the episode. Uh, against Yeovil Town at home. Yeovil are on the ball in the 25th minute. Have a good shot, but uh, Svensson is there to save it. And uh, we do eventually clear it. And now 30 minutes in, Ginter on the ball, plays it into Archie. Archie beats his man. Now going through, just beats everyone and can't find the target. Their keeper will save that, and they do clear it. Now 41 minutes in, almost a halftime. Another good save by Svensson. Svensson had a great game this uh game I guess and now almost a half time they have another shot and Svensson is there again to save it and collects the rebound and then again Svensson is just all over with these saves and now Oswald gets the ball off from their player and plays a through ball into Archie and Archie almost has the pace to get there can he get there no he cannot the keeper just there in time and then another chance for them to score, but Archie is there again. And now 80 minutes in, Rugani on the ball, trying to cut back, trying to f get a shot, trying to pick out a shot, but gets the ball taken away, turns back, tries to cut back, but gets fouled in the meantime. And now Molina, will, our center back, will take this free kick. He puts it over the wall, and Molina with the fired of a goal what a goal by Molina to put that in the back of the net 82 minutes in to put us in the lead and hopefully keep maintain the lead 1-0 to us Molina with his first goal I think of uh his career and look at this again just over the wall and just perfectly past the goalkeeper and now 90 minutes not much time added on, or left Archie gets the ball from a Svensson goal kick Tries to beat a couple of players, does beat a couple of players, but gets the ball taken away in the end. Still wants the ball, though. Beats, tries to get the ball back. Their keeper passes it right to Archie, who just rights foots it right in the back of the net. Not going to have much of an easier goal than that for Archie. But we will take that, and we do win that game at 2-0 after scoring in the 83rd and 90-plus minute. And now the third game up of the episode is against Bury, and we are starting probably one of our best 11s. And it is away this time. And now getting into the game, at only three minutes in, Baker with a fake shot past the player but can't find it uh, to put it on target, and it goes wide. And only six minutes later, they have a good opportunity but don't put it on target. And then Ethan. Etu gets the ball and just beats our man and puts it in the back of the net. I don't know what. Uh, that was just awful defending my me. I don't know what I was doing there. And now 28 minutes in, a finesse shot from Wissam hits their player and goes in the back of the net. What an own goal by their player. Wissam with the shot and it just goes off O'Brien's stomach. 
And now 54 minutes in, a quick free kick by us. Archie beats his man for pace and just splits their defenders and just an easy shot right in the back of the net. For some reason, he took it with the right, his right foot finesse shot instead of his left. But we'll take the goal anyways with his purple boots. And 74 minutes left, 15 minutes to go, 16 to be exact. Uh, I don't know who that was, but he played a great ball into Wassam and Wassam in the shot. And exactly like the first goal of the episode, it just goes right under the keeper. And what awful goalkeeping this is. They really need to fix that because that, there's no way a professional goalie would let that go in. But then Molina, I believe, played that ball into Archie. Four minutes left. And that, that kind of reminds me of one Marcus Brush kind of goal. Beats everyone and just puts in the with his right foot past the goalkeeper finesse shot. And we do win that game 4-2-1. And now into the last game of the episode against Crew Alexandra. I believe they are in third place. So this was a tough game for us to be in. But it was at home. So hopefully we could get the winner in this episode. Or in this game. And coming into the second half. Barnes with the shot. But it hits the post. And nothing comes from it. And that will be it. That w It was probably the most boring game I have ever played in in my life on FIFA but in that game the only thing happened was that shot and Rufair got hurt for five days but literally that game was so boring to play I wasted like 15 minutes of my life playing that game and now we do have our monthly scouting report and Bautzlo looks amazing Gutierrez cannot be a striker unfortunately which sucks and then we get rid of Camargo and we get rid of also Caterino and then we look at the Moroccan guy who is now only a right winger, which kind of sucks, I think. Was, did that say he was only a right winger? Wow, we, we really need another striker because we are we only have like Rugani and then Wissam got hurt in the third game. So hopefully we can get a striker in one of these reports sometime soon. Uh, but everyone from Brazil looking okay, so we do keep an eye on them. And then coming into the last one from England, we do get rid of both of them. And this is how the episode will end. As you can see, with that draw, we are in second place. Two points behind Sheffield United. And until next time, I will see you guys later.